the sway bar links on my friend's uh, Saturn view again like I did in the last video. should go here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the problem I got here, but these ones are so freaking wore out that uh, this one anyway, I got lucky enough, I had to hook a pair of vice grips and support it there with the uh, tie rod end so I could take the uh, bolt off because the nuts are just spinning. This thing is just hammered. Well, this works on this one so far, but this one up here, I don't have room to get vice grips on. And since I don't work at a place that has torches anymore, this could be tricky. Alright, and I got the, uh, got the old one out. Sorry, I dropped my uh, phone so I didn't catch that all in action. And uh, I, I'm kind of anal, so I took my uh, drill with uh, one of these fancy uh, sandpaper flap wheels on it and just cleaned up the holes where the, uh, you know, bolts are going in. I mangled the hell out of this old one, bent it right around the horseshoe and put vice grips on it, but I did get it out. And uh, I couldn't see it on the top, but... I don't know if you can see it in this video, there's actually flat spots on the stud on the back side for you to slip a wrench on, which uh, when I do the other side, which you must probably should change both sides at the same time, and I'm going to, I will probably use a wrench instead of ice grips, but, you know, oop, eh, of course I dropped shit. And, uh, you know, there's a new one, there's a mangled old one. A uh, new one slides in here and uh, I can't put the bolt on one hand but I'll, I'll get it bolted up and I'll give a show another video a little shot here of uh, the tightener down all right I also just got noticed in putting in this uh, new one the new one doesn't have the flat spots on it on the back side to um, put a wrench on you know like uh, like this one had. However, oh, it's kind of neat. I just noticed that, I don't know if you can see this on the video, but inside there's a Torx. So you can use your, uh, you know, the 17 mil wrench, is at least what this one takes, and uh, a Torx socket or screwdriver or Allen wrench to uh, hold the stead from spinning. So. I'll have to uh, grab one of those when I go to tighten this one up, but um, no, I thought that was pretty neat, so I'd add that, that in too. Now, I opted to go with an Allen wrench on this because the, uh, the Torx, it was like a T15 or a T20 or whatever, I was just looking at it. Um, now, the one I have is from a cheap china set, and I twisted the end off, so uh, I went with a metric Allen wrench. So, uh, as you see, I got the Allen wrench here in the middle wrench on the outside, you know, this keeps you from spinning the uh, joint and ripping the boot and stuff, so uh, I can't film me uh, tightening it, but, you know, you guys probably can figure that out, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Alright, now uh, I got that all in and tight. I'm doing this the last backwards, I guess I should have probably mentioned, um, since I'm not going to do a video of the other side, that when, uh, when you change these uh, sway bar bushings and connector you know in this case it's a, a connector they're all a little different but um you gotta jack car up off the ground and support the frame i don't have jack stands so i uh you know ghetto cinder blocks and two by four will work and get both front tires up off the uh the ground so your suspension's sagging and uh i find that when i do it anyway i like to uh take a jack jack up on the lower control arm a little bit and uh, you know, take take these off, take the old one out. When you go put your new one in, you let your jack out, and most of the time you'll be able to just this one popped right in. Sometimes you got to take a block of wood, jack up on your um, sway bar a little bit to to get it back up to where it can reach. But uh, yeah, other than that, this is pretty simple. I'm gonna go do the other side and throw the wheels back on it. But this is a real uh, real quick job. Took me about. Mm, half hour to do uh, 
do all this. I had to go and grab some more tools and whatnot. And but uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, comment and rate. I know I ain't got much worth subscribing, but that'd be kind of cool too. Thank you.